set to compete in the NCAA Women's Frozen Four beginning Friday, the Ohio State captain from Surrey, B.C., has a keen eye on the Professional Women's Hockey League's banner first season. A fifth-year senior working toward a master's degree in sports management, Gardner sees a future where 100% of her attention is on the sport she loves. Actually being able to focus on your craft, she said. I have a goal of playing for the national team and making it to the Olympics. To be able to play hockey as my full-time job and devote my entire life to that the next couple of years is something I'm really excited for. Gardner and her teammates will first be looking to secure the program's second U.S. national championship in women's hockey after winning in 2022 and finishing runners-up last year. Number 1 Ohio State will take on number 4 Clarkson in Friday's semi-finals in Durham, New Hampshire, before number 2 Wisconsin meets number 3 Colgate. The title game goes Sunday. There will be plenty of north-of-the-border content. Clarkson's roster includes 22 Canadians, followed by Colgate with 14, Ohio State with 6, and Wisconsin with 5. My last tournament of college hockey, Gardner said. But not the end of the road. The six-team PWHL has burst onto the sports scene since its January launch with an innovative, forward-thinking approach to the game that's been a hit with fans. An exciting time for women's hockey, said fifth-year Colgate forward Danielle Serdukny. A lot of players have goals and dreams. The Edmonton product added the upstart PWHL has been the talk of our team this season. Definitely makes me curious, said Serdukny, tied for fourth in NCAA scoring with 61 points in 39 games. I'm just trying to focus on the tournament and my final college games, but what they have there is super exciting. Clarkson's Nicole Gosling and some of her teammates have made the 90-minute drive from Potsdam, New York, to Ottawa for a couple of PWHL contests. Everything is ramping up so quick, said the defender from London, Ontario that's what a lot of the girls playing in the league right now have been pushing for. They finally had their voice heard. Colgate head coach Greg Fargo, meanwhile, has heard lots of PWHL chatter in the NCAA. What an opportunity, he said. It couldn't come at a better time for some of our graduates. The Kingston, Ontario, product said the league, which will hold its second ever draft in June, is also a significant boost to U.S. college sports and women's hockey at all levels. I'll watch a PWHL game with my eight-year-old daughter, Fargo said. That has an impact on how she sees the game and the opportunities that will be out there. It's going to grow our game tremendously. It's not just every four years surrounding the Olympics. It's going to be every season. Clarkson head coach Matt DeRosier played professionally after his NCAA career ended.